How do snakes move, or how do they crawl? Well, there's two main ways that snakes crawl. The first one we're going to talk about is called horizontal undulatory progression. It's a big word. And it's also called lateral progression sometimes. Essentially, and this is how most collarbreds move. The uh, collarbreds will be like garter snakes and rat snakes and uh, uh, king snakes, smaller snakes, not large bodied snakes. And basically, how that works is they, they move by lashing sections of their body forward <clears throat> in a sideways kind of motion. Um, and essentially, they're moving sideways to move forward. Um, now, this is not to be confused with sidewinding, which is completely different. This happens so smoothly and so quickly that your eye doesn't even capture it. And essentially, the snake appears to move as if floating or gliding over the ground. So basically, what the snake is doing is he's taking a coil, throwing it forward or to the side, and then pulling himself up by that coil. He does that multiple times over multiple different parts of the body all at once, creating a smooth gliding motion. The other kind of uh, movement we're going to talk about is rectilinear progression. Rectilinear progression is also sometimes called rib walking. Essentially what happens is the, this is used by the large boyads, the very big snakes, the boas and the pythons, and it creates a forward straight line movement. And what happens is the snake basically uses his, bu his belly scales, which are specially formed, and he takes those and he uses them to grab the ground and push himself forward. And again, it's, a, it's one constant motion over the entire body. It, can, it basically uses what they call eye-belly um, coordination. Uh, and the snake uses this whole one fluid motion to glide seamlessly over the ground.